My Classes has an integrated attendance tool that will allow you to keep track of attendance as part of the course grade. This tool may need to be activated in your course in order to use it. To activate the tool, go to Settings, Navigation, and find the Attendance tool. You can activate the tool in one of two ways, by clicking the gear icon and selecting Enable, or by dragging the tool up to the Active Course Navigation items. Always remember to click Save to retain your changes. Now you have attendance showing in your course navigation menu. When you click attendance, you will be taken to the Roll Call app. The date is displayed in the secondary bar with a calendar icon next to it, and it will always default to the current date. If you need to add attendance from a previous class or an outside event where students were required to attend, you'll have to select the date you want to enter attendance for before you mark the status of any student. The arrows on either side of the date move back and forth through the calendar, or you may use the calendar icon to expand the month view and select the appropriate date from there. From the list view, you will see a list of all students enrolled in the class with attendance options next to them. In the attendance options box between the student profile picture and the student name, there is a round button that defaults to the interdictory circle icon. This indicates that the student attendance is unmarked. If you click the circle once, you'll see a green checkmark icon that indicates the student is present and on time. A second click reveals a red X icon that indicates the student is not present. A third click reveals an orange clock that indicates the student is present but arrived late. A fourth click will return to the interdictory circle and indicate once again that the student is unmarked. You also have the option to click the More button to expand the view where you will see all four attendance options in a row for you to select from. If everyone is present, you can choose Mark All Present, or you can choose Unmark All if you want to reset the attendance for that day. If you switch into Class View, you can click and drag each student to create a seating chart. You can take attendance directly from your seating chart by clicking on the student. You can also zoom in and out of the seating chart view as well as use the Mark All Present and Unmark All options in Class View. Each green check mark equals 100% for the attendance for that day. Each red X equals 0% for the attendance that day. From the Settings gear, you can click on Roll Call Settings and use the sliding scale to determine what score a student will get out of 100% for a late arrival to class. From the Settings Gear drop-down, you can also select Attendance Report, which will allow you to enter start and end dates, an SU username if you choose to report on a single student, as well as an email address for the report to be sent. You will have 24 hours to download the report from the email. Once attendance has been taken for a student in the Attendance tool, an attendance assignment will automatically be created in the assignment area. and an attendance column will appear in the gradebook. Only the instructor can access the attendance tool, but students will be able to see the attendance assignment and their associated grade. As soon as the roll call attendance assignment is created, faculty should decide whether attendance is included as part of the student grade and modify any associated points or choose to exclude the assignment from the final grade calculations. Once again, make sure to save your changes. If you want to take attendance with the Roll Call tool in class, but you do not want to have attendance as an assignment in the gradebook, you can go to the Assignments page and unpublish the Roll Call attendance assignment by clicking the green cloud. This will allow you to have the ability to track attendance, but will not make attendance visible to the student. Thank you for watching this tip of the week.
For more information, please refer to the following guides.